the sanctified life, an unblemished offering. Again, the Apostle writes to the believers, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Romans 12 verse 1 Specific directions were given to ancient Israel that no defective or diseased animal should be presented as an offering to God. Only the most perfect were to be selected for this purpose. The Lord, through the prophet Malachi, most severely reproved his people for departing from these instructions. A son honoreth his father, and a servant his master. If then I be a father, where is mine honor? And if I be a master, where is my fear? saith the Lord of hosts unto you, O priest, that despise my name. And ye say, Wherein have we despised thy name? Ye offer polluted bread upon mine altar, and ye say, Wherein have we polluted thee? In that ye say, The table of the Lord is contemptible. And if ye offer the blind for sacrifice, is it not evil? And if ye offer the lame and sick, is it not evil? Offer it now unto thy governor, will he be pleased with thee, or accept thy person? saith the Lord of hosts. And ye brought that which was torn, and the lame, and the sick, thus ye brought an offering, should I accept this of your hand? saith the Lord. Malachi chapter 1, 6 through 13. Though addressed to ancient Israel, these words contain a lesson for the people of God today. When the Apostle appeals to his brethren to present their bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, he sets forth the principles of true sanctification. It is not merely a theory, an emotion, or a form of words, but a living active principle entering into the everyday life. It requires that our habits of eating, drinking, and dressing be such as to secure the preservation of physical, mental, and moral health that we may present to the Lord our bodies not an offering corrupted by wrong habits, but a living sacrifice wholly acceptable unto God. The Sanctified Life, Chapter 3, Controlling the Appetites and Passions.